Popped up, ready to go. Up. Artistry. Athleticism and anxiety, the triple A's of trapeze. These young people are climbing, catching, flying, falling, failing, and nailing it to make the annual Peru Amateur Circus in Indiana. Yeah, we pretty much give away our whole summer for this. If you were to come in here first practice and then come here now, there's a huge difference. Any young person here can be in the circus, but the flying trapeze requires added skill, strength, and the ability to leave your fears, or most of them, at the door three to four stories below. Just today, I did a trick and I landed in the net. Well, I mean, it scared me a little bit, but I got up and did it again, and now I'm good. He kind of went flying towards the pedestal and then landed upside down because it scared him more than anything. And I just kind of talked to him and I said, is this, it's his first year in flying trapeze also. So I'm like, is this something that you want to keep working as we're getting closer to the show or does this scare you now? He said, I want to do it. So I think it takes that, that grit almost that you want to just buckle down and he climbed right up and he threw like four beautiful ones after that. The closer they get to the week-long circus in July, the more intense the daily practices. Well, over time in practice, you start to gain muscle memory and then a bunch of things change, but even small things change with how quick we get through our tricks, how quickly we set up and tear down the rig. They're starting to work without safety ropes. Sometimes okay, it's still a good idea, as you'll see. Bar. Stay tight. Let her swing again. Okay, thank God. Oh my God. A close call here, but there's lots of learning and encouragement and an we'll absolute focus on safety. Okay. It's a lot of muscle memory, because then once you do it over and over again, you get a hang of it. Above the arena floor are three positions, the platform or the pedestal, like home base for the flyers. In the middle is the high catch. With catchers, it's stationary, and to the right is the swinging catch. In order to have a good catch, you have to be in the right spot at the right time. So when we're going across, we will call timing to go uh, off the pedestal so then we catch at the right time. But we also, the tricks that we do, they put us in a spot so that we are in line with the catcher to catch nicely. The swinging catch, um, it's that one is moving, and so that's the one you have to worry more about timing, making sure they're coming up at the right time when the flyer should be finishing a trick and coming down to the trick. And whether they fail it or nail it, the kids also learn to style and smile. It's all part of a show business where they fly through the air with the greatest of ease.